da, 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 do. Hello! Oh, a room full of enemies! Haha, <laughs> they're all dead. God, this game is. This game is hard. Hello, my fellow sorcerers! It is not long then until we can finally start playing Diablo 4 proper and enter hell and promptly murder every denizen there within. But of course, in order to do said murdering, we need the best leveling build for the job. Something that will delete every enemy on screen near instantly, make you nigh unkillable, let you have a great time, and generally become the god that all of us sorcerers, let's be honest, deserve to be. As the choosers of the best class. And it doesn't hurt that this particular setup will lead nicely onto endgame and evolve into arguably the best endgame build too. It will certainly get you to level 50 slash tier 3 nightmare as fast as humanly possible and it gets to do it in style. So what is actually going on here? Well I'll go over everything individually of course and the general order you want to get everything as you level up, but you are seeing a general sweeping notion of what we'll be actually doing here. It's a lightning build with a little bit of burning and fire that is focused around arc lash, critting, and stunning. Essentially, this setup is going to have you stunning every enemy constantly, which leads to massive burst damage. You're going to be critting every enemy constantly, which leads to massive burst damage, but the catch here is the crits let you stun enemies more, and the stuns let you crit enemies more, which creates this wonderfully delicious feedback loop of pure destruction. On top of giving you huge amounts of both mobility and survivability while having the cherry on top piece de resistance of letting you spam unstable currents, the lightning focused ultimate ability that normally has a cooldown of 70 seconds, but with this you will be using it constantly thanks to some serious cooldown reducing that we will have in play here. And unstable currents is the premium boss shredding ability that will have you chewing through those singular big boy enemies in seconds. It's all here, and it's good. It's good. It's good. So without further ado, let's actually go through this on a more point-for-point -point level. We want to start with Arc Lash, of course, and it is the core to the build, and this will also be our level 30 enchantment slot, so keep that in mind for when we get there. We don't need uh, to enhance it yet, so we just want to get a little bit more power and extra ranks in it to begin with, and now we can move on and grab Charged Bolts. This will be your main mana spender, your filler ability, just throw it out there whenever you have a spare moment, as it will feed into the entire engine of the build. Grab the enhanced version so that you start bursting even harder, and then more importantly, the destructive perk that this lets you get, which makes every enemy hit just do less damage to you, which will keep you alive in the face of massive groups or big bosses. Then we can move down and grab Teleport, which gives us access to Unstoppable. This means we can always get out of jail free and get out of jail far. Without an Unstoppable, you will just die a lot. It is essentially a requirement to have access to that state, and we grab Ice Barrier 2, along with Enhanced Ice Armor, so that our mana can regen with some speed while we have it. Then Enhanced Teleport comes along, so we can use it more often, as we will be hitting clusters of enemies with it, and again, this just really speeds up the build and the playstyle. Shimmering Teleport helps a lot too, with that damage reduction, especially if the single teleport has not quite got you out of trouble yet, it really does pay dividends. Then we move on and grab Hydra. Despite being nerfed, it still remains an absolute powerhouse of a damage dealing ability, but more importantly than that, we are using it as our source of setting enemies on fire, which will enhance the critical playstyle here, leading to even harder burst damage, using uh, the burning 12% over 6 seconds from each head. We'll get to how we actually use that more specifically later. Then we want to finish off Ice Armor to uh, get the chance to freeze enemies, it's just useful, and now we are around 
around level 15, we want to grab a rank of fireball for our first enchantment slot. This means when we kill an enemy, it literally explodes in a fireball for half damage, hitting every enemy around, which obviously causes this delightful chain reaction of death across the screen as everyone dies and fireballs, and even though the build is nothing to do with fire, this is just too good at clearing packs and is arguably the single best enchantment for leveling that we have access to, so we want to grab it regardless, even if we won't be putting fireball actually on our bars. Then we grab this passive, but primarily we only grab it to get to shocking impact, so that when we stun an enemy, we just blast them for a big nuke of lightning damage. This is really potent and a huge component of why we just absolutely destroy enemies. Now we can finally go back and enhance our arc lash by getting the glinting. This means we'll reduce all our cooldowns by 0.25 seconds by hitting a stunned enemy. As you can imagine with how often we're stunning, this absolutely melts the cooldowns down on your other abilities. Then we want to just improve our clash as it is our main source of spammable damage that makes up the real center of what we're achieving here. Then we can run all the way down and grab our ultimate in unstable currents and then also prime unstable currents so that while it's on, well, we can use our arc lash 25% faster. Then we get to coursing currents, which really is a crux here. Without this, things essentially wouldn't function. This increases our critical chance until we crit with a lightning ability, then it resets. This guarantees the crits will flow and is very important, and we want to max it as soon as possible. Grab one rank of the two further passives, electrocution, just keep keeping us alive as enemies will deal even less damage as they keep getting crit by our shock skills, and then convulsions, which will give us a lucky hit chance to stun enemies, even more stun. And now that lucky hit does indeed matter to us, we can pick up the lucky hit crit chance to reset our defensive cooldowns. Once per 10 seconds, this will pretty much happen constantly. And you can see as this starts to come together, it just gets exponentially more powerful as everything supports everything. It's such an interconnected synergistic build, and while that sounds like random business meeting jargon, it really is the way to describe this. Now we can get our super passive in the form of Vi's Mastery, meaning that in close range, i.e. our class range, we will be doing 10% more damage, and we will be taking 20% less damage, and that gets amped up by critting, which again, we are doing constantly all the time. So now now we've kind of got the layout here, we can start to go back and improve things. We want one align the elements just so when elites do hit us, they're not just going to blow us up if they happen to catch us between shields, it's just a really valuable utility survival point to have. Then we want to finish Hydra, as again it is a huge source of damage and worth having all the ranks in to have it permanently up and melting every enemy. Following that, we want Teleport to have naturally just under 10 seconds of cooldown, as this is the sweet spot from both Arc Clash and its own cooldown reduction. We want Fireball to be a little bit stronger, as it is constantly popping and uh, obliterating enemies for us, and at this point we'll need it to be just a little bit more potent. The same with Charged Bolts, the 3 out of 5 is the nice sweet spot as we start reaching level 50 and start thinking about that dungeon that is going to unlock Nightmare for us. Elemental Attunement finished off, as again, lucky uh, hits really do reel into this, and we will be critting a lot, so this is going to happen constantly. And then we can get the real last piece of this puzzle from our fire passives. We want inner flames just so we can then go past it and get to the top of the two, which means we do increased critical strike damage against burning enemies. We're critting constantly and the Hydra is keeping everything on fire, especially bosses and single target, so this is just a huge damage bump to really put the icing on the proverbial cake. Now we have eight points left to spend if you're going to go get all your renown points, so we can start thinking about some nice extras to round this out. Finish both electrocution and 
convulsions with all of those lucky hit stuns. And of course, all of this you can do in the order that you feel is best, that you want. The ultimate goal here is to end up with the same general shape of build that just provably works so supremely effectively. Now we have four points remaining, we essentially have two main options. Finish Charge Bolts to rank 5 and finish Fireball to rank 5 and just really push that damage. Or we can leave one of them at rank 4, the other at rank 3, and then invest 3 points into Lightning Spear. This will both help us on the crit and the stun front, but mainly we're doing this to help our ultimate in unstable currents. Because we will be casting randomly lightning spells while it's active, it does cast any of them. You don't have to have learnt it, but if you have learnt it and have enhanced it, then it will cast the enhanced version. So if we're spamming out lightning spears uh, that will stun enemies when they crit and gain increased chance to crit, well that really just turns you into a absolute lightning god for the duration of said unstable currents, and it will power the cooldown reduction from Arc Lash 2 by constantly stunning enemies so that you're hitting stunned enemies and reducing said cooldown reduction, so that really does kind of bring it full circle. As for the actual six abilities you're going to be using here then, we have of course Art Clash as our most used ability, filler all the time, constantly spam this whenever you can or don't have mana, it is the engine for everything, both critting and stunning enemies. Then we have our charged bolts, this is your just kind of filler spender, if Hydra's up you have spare mana, throw out charged bolts and let it do its thing. Unstable currents if you're in a sticky situation or you're going up against a boss and make sure while you are in stable currenting to really power out our clashes so you can start getting that cooldown reduction to get it back as soon as possible. We have the teleport for that unstoppable, get you out of any jam and just clear faster as we can move faster. The ice armor, regen your mana and of course keep you alive even more. Both of these will be resetting their cooldown with the lucky hit crits and generally making you incredibly hard to kill and very mobile. Hydra then should always just be up and it will be setting enemies on fire making your crits hit harder and just doing a lot of damage to everything the heads are spitting at. For our enchantments then we want the fireball it's just overall ungodly good making everyone pop for extra damage and it just causes this beautiful chain reaction. Then at level 30 our second slot is the arc lash itself and as that will mean us using a cooldown, so an ability with a cooldown, and it just stuns everyone around you, which then of course feeds into all of the bonuses you get when attacking stunned enemies relative to the crit and cooldown reduction. When we look at three easy aspects to aim for here to support this as you level up to 50, we have the aspect of control, because of course 40% more damage to stunned enemies, that just makes sense, it's a huge boost to this build, enemies are stunned constantly. We have the aspect of the expectant, which will give you a stacking buff of your next core skill from spamming your basic skill, i.e. we're spamming our arc and then it buffs our hydra and that's just a repeating loop there. Finally, rapid aspect, so we can do our arc spamming 30% faster. This is just huge and essentially just speeds up the entire playstyle in a beautiful way. So, there you kind of have it as a general overview. Everyone's getting critted, everyone's getting stunned, everyone's getting stunned so they're getting critted, and everyone's getting critted so they're getting stunned, and all the while, massive amounts of free burst damage is happening from both the enhanced parts of the skills and your enchantments in fire ball and arc lash while constantly being able to use your ultimate from cooldown reduction and constantly using ice barrier and teleport from both lucky hit crits and cooldown reduction and generally you will just feel very much in control with both this playstyle and this setup and I hope that it has very much proven helpful and given you a kind of direction to aim for as you go into early launch and the head start on the second. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions I will do my best to answer them but this is certainly what I'll be going for as it's just proven to be unbelievably effective and I prefer it over the other main contender which is a firewall setup. Alright then, like if you enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more, consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below and until we meet again, a good...
Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye